Tom's top five. Hi everybody, Tom Ball from Sun Racing here, back with my top five for the weekend, which of course sees Haydock take centre stage in that horrible soft ground. It's going to take plenty of getting through. And the Betfair Sprint Cup is the main race on the agenda. I think Art Power is the one to beat. Yes, he was disappointing in the Nunthorpe, but was blown off his feet over that quick five furlongs. Back over six this time in softer ground. I think he is very much the one to beat and he can reaffirm that massively upward trajectory he had shown beforehand and can land another big race here. Team East to Beast horses have been in really good form recently and I think he is the one to catch in the Sprint Cup. Later on the card, or early on the card I should say, in the Superior Mile, the Group 3 contest, I think Calusi is the one to beat in those famous blue and white hand down Almac Tomb Silks which have been flying this season so far. Yes, he was a bit disappointed at Goodwood last time out. That wasn't his true running in a small rerun race, slowly run race in a small field. I think he just didn't find it to his quite to his liking. So I think better now is expected in a bigger field. And he's got plenty of potential after just four starts. And we know he likes soft ground. So he's my pick in the Betfair Superior Mile. Later on, I really like Saglawi in the Old Borough Cup. This is having his first start for Paul Nichols, of all people, on the flat. He's got some really good form on the flat earlier in his, in his career with Willie Mullins. And I think he is the one to beat in those famous Silvaniaco Conti silks. He's definitely got more to come on the flat of his current mark, and I think he could be lessened very lightly on soft ground in the Old Borough Cup. I also like Fancy Man in the Ascendant Stakes. This horse finished a really good second last time to Cove, a very nice horse of Clive Cox's, and I think this is about right, about his level. And after just two starts, I expect more improvement from this horse. And finally, over at Ascot in Lavezza Stakes, a heritage handicap, Nothing appeals more than Shandos, who absolutely flew down the outside of Ascot's home straight when stepped up to a mile and a half last time out. And I think a four-pound rise is very lenient. He could still be much better than the handicap that Capital Handicapper thinks he is. And I expect Roger Varian's horse to be extremely hard to beat over a course and distance we know he really enjoys. So hopefully after just four starts and after his seasonal reappearance, Shandos is the one to beat in the Levetsa. Those are my five for the weekend. Hopefully there's some winners in there. And best of luck to you all at home with your bets. Tom's top five.